Ah. Feels like we've been gone a lot longer than three work mornings. Good morning. Oh, I like that. Good morning. I, I like the other one. The first one. Good morning. I like that one better. You do. I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it does. It seems that. Well, you know, I feel like. What do we have? A short week in Not LA. Really. Yeah, we have a short week here. And we had a short week here. And this week is kind of short. Well, it is. It's four days. I know. But I hate starting Tuesday. I'd rather end Thursday. But that's me, guys. Well, you're a TGIF kid. That's right. <laughs> that's, it's okay. It happens, you know. <laughs> Hope everybody had a great, long Memorial Day weekend. Did you have fun? I went to L.A. Um, I, I had nothing to do, so I wanted to, I just went out there and did nothing. And I ate like a pig. And Look did, at you, Jet Setter. Look at just Hollywood Jim Norton just at the last minute. You know what? I have nothing to do. Might as well be bi-coastal. Yeah, but it's not that hard to do that anymore. It's not like, you know, the 1950s where that was jet setting. Ladies and sure. gentlemen, Robert Kelly. That's sure. It's not like I'm Tom Hagen. Yeah, you get, a, <laughs> you get a ticket for a bug like 185 right now. 185 bucks? Yeah. Oh. JetBlue. Robert Kelly. I did fly JetBlue. Hi, buddy. Hey, Robert. Sam Bones. What's up? We, we drove in together. Oh, did you? Kind on of. The, on the phone, virtually together. Oh, that's nice. He was in front of me, and then I passed him, and then we pulled up at the same time, and then he passed me. Yeah, technically, I got into the garage first. Technically. But we're just being cute. We're being cute. <laughs> yeah. That's I, I just, it seems cute. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it is kind of cute. cute. We had little conversations. He, yeah. He called me because he was complaining about traffic driving in, yeah. and we realized that we were very close to each other on the West Side Highway, yeah. so we just stayed on the phone. The and I life. let him know there was a road closure. <laughs> I was like, don't turn on 48th, better turn on 50th. It did help me, but the cutest part of the conversation, when we were in the garage, and we were right next to each other, we could see each other, and mm -hmm. all right, I'll, I'll talk to you in a sec. And I did. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I said, I'll talk to you in one second. That was really nice. That's right. Bob <laughs> Kelly was waiting like a good boy because there was a line of cars to get into the entrance, Yeah, but the exit was full and clear, so I, I told him on the phone, I said, oh, see you later, Bobby. What's this, the exit? And just drove right in the That's, exit. No problem. Have, the, the relationship no you guys problem. have is pretty strong. It was, just, I was, it was a sweet thing. thing. Huh? To TBS. I think TBS would like this. I was Yeah, two douches. <laughs> <laughs> Show about two assholes on the West Side Highway. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I call it Westchester Boys. That's actually a great name for a show. Yeah. That's what people oh. would say like in, in high school or even in college. Like Just people who go like, man, our group of friends is so wild. They should make a reality show about us. Yeah. And you're like, no, they, no, they shouldn't. Yeah, yeah we, we drive in and talk on the phone. Right. These guys are so close, they don't even stop talking on the highway. They <laughs> said that when you were in high school. We were in high school, they didn't have reality shows. No, they didn't. No. no, they didn't. They just had three shows. Yeah, or cell phones. <laughs> They never would have done that. They would have been like, what do you mean you called him from your car, you asshole? Are <laughs> so you canon? <laughs> is, that, is that fucking crazy? Do you guys have walkie-talkies? <laughs> so how was, uh, how was Los Angeles? You just went and celebrated it yourself? Was a, yeah, just to do something. It was a little boring, but I mean, it was just, I had nothing planned, and I hung out with, with fucking my manager and his Jonathan? wife, and my, I saw my ex, and I saw some friends, and it was just, I just ate. That was it. It was nothing. Sounds great. It sounds like you were living your best life. I just wanted to get out of New York. Right. I know, and my, I'm back on Afrin, so I sound like shit. I'm not sleeping again, so my fucking nose is stuffy. Well, you're probably jet lagged. No, the night before I went home, I'm like, I, I can't sleep. I got to take something. Oh. And then now my fucking nose. You fucked yourself up totally. I'm ruined. So I don't understand. You use Afrin. Does that make everything worse after? It, yes, but in the moment, it makes you sleep. Sure. But then the next day, it's like someone took a sock and mm -hmm. shoved it in your sinuses. She got stuffy oh. nose today. Ter not now. No, I saw him on Afrin from oh. last night. You can oh. hear it. Yeah, you still, can, right? You yeah, still you sound can. nasally, yeah. yeah. I apologize. It's nothing I can do about it. But mm -hmm. once it wears off, I'll, I'll sound like one. I'll sound like Craig <laughs> Shake off. <laughs> that fucking wears off. When does it wear off? You know, it, it, at first you have 24 hours, and yeah. then the second time it's like 15 or 16, and then it's down to 12. So is there a potential that, like, towards the last hour of the show today, you'll start to talk like this a little I more. don't think so <laughs> that fast, but it'll probably happen before I'm home. Because I have the gym, and I have a doctor's appointment. It'll probably be like. Right. Those. What's well, a doctor's appointment? Just therapy. You? Oh, therapy. Right. You call it a doctor? No, I just said that's how oh. I said it. In therapy. Right. I have therapy today too. I haven't seen him in three weeks. No, I'm a little nervous. Why? I don't know. Does he scold you when you haven't gone in? No, he doesn't. He doesn't scold me. So what are you nervous about? Yeah. I don't know. You seem like you're doing great. I'm doing. You know, it's a weird thing. Is that I've been I've been pretty good for the last. I've had a really good time the last three weeks. Uh huh. Like, real good. So I'm like, do I need this fucking guy? I think that about meeting sometimes, too. I'm like, do I really need this shit? Did, you know, did, did I do it? 
I, but I you're think I'm to, done. You're supposed to keep going to treatment when you feel better because then all of a sudden, oh, yeah. you know, you feel worse and you go, what happened? I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, I, I'll, I'll fucking, yeah, I'll lose my mind on the way home. Traffic, something will happen today where I'll just fucking want to stab somebody. Oh, me right. too. Grab the ceiling wheel and just <laughs> smush it. The ceiling wheel? The ce it's on my ceiling. <laughs> On my car, I have a Ford oh, wow. Edge. Oh, the ceiling wheel? It's the new Ford Edge. It's how you drive like this. <laughs> with the ceiling. You have a, a, he you did know. say the ceiling wheel. He doesn't know. He, you know about the ceiling wheel. I do. It's yeah. a Westchester it's a thing. Westchester In West. Westchester, they put all the steering wheels on the top of the car. That's yeah. what Bob would imagine yeah. when he was steering when he was in his bed when he was a youngster, just kind uh, of just wordy. dissociating <laughs> for what was happening. It's fucking wordy. Yeah. <laughs> that was wordy. No, but no. I'm just saying, you'd be looking up at the ceiling, just, thinking oh. of your ceiling wheel as there was a mouth on your Peter. I'm just driving the bus again. <laughs> There's the ceiling wheel. Look, I'm driving the house. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still in charge. I'm driving here. Yeah, was, was, beard bristles are tickling your thighs. <laughs> beard bristles. <laughs> Who are you doing? <laughs> uh, I, I, I always, you know, those people that actually find out they were molested, like in their forties. Just it yep. just appeared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> you weren't molested. I right? don't think so. No, I believe yes. I don't think so. Whoa, <laughs> Sam, you can't say that. Did I think Jim was molested? Yeah, you can't. Why not? I mean, I've said it many times. Have you seen pictures when I was a kid? <laughs> if, if I wasn't molested, there's a fucking pedophile crisis. I was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> There was yeah. something wrong with pedophilia. Oh my in god! It, the pedophile should be drummed out in New Jersey. I was a fucking nine and a half when I was a kid. <laughs> 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 They were all in Germany for three years and then taking a course. <laughs> oh, they missed out. <laughs> they missed out on little Jimmy. Were you really adorable? Oh, boy, was I. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you a picture as a boy. Really? Oh. Okay, it's getting weird. Bob, go. Really? Yeah, yeah. really. Let me see the photo. <laughs> just like jerking off to the photos. Let me see this thing. So you're worried about going to your, your, your therapist? Um, yeah, I think the last time we left, it was, we were, we were going to start talking about sex. Ew. You don't want to do that. You tell me you just want to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get under the money to pay him, so I really have that option anymore. <laughs> so we have to work out some agreement. Well, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you do you not want to talk about? Uh, to, do, do you not want to talk about? Uh, you don't want to talk about sex with your therapist. This makes me cry. Okay, look at this. Let me. Can I see the photo real quick? It, it makes me tear up. How cute you are. Dude. All right. You see that that picture of Jim? How old Sorry. would you say Jim Norton is in that photo, Bob? He's five. Okay, so maybe five. Four or five. Four or five years old. He's adorable, right? Oh my! And what you see and, the what, you see the bandage on his head? Yeah, it's sad. How do you how did you get that bandage on your head, Jim? I was running away from a boy whose penis I used to suck, and I fell and hit my head on the concrete <laughs> steps. Used to suck. Past tense. At that age, five. Mm -hmm. Five. You say he's not molested. Hey, my age. Can I stop for a second, though? Let's talk about this. He, stuff. He, <laughs> might, <laughs> he might not be molested. Maybe he just like penis. I mean, it's not a maybe. I, 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 uh, sound, maybe. I feel like I'm asleep and I'm listening to my parents talk in the other room. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if Can you... Can I be the dad? <laughs> I think he likes dick. <laughs> if you like penis, you're probably not going to run away from it so quickly that you smash yeah. your head on a rock. You'd run away from it... As a like a game, like uh, were you playing a game, Jim? Yeah, maybe no, I was just frightened of him. <laughs> oh, was he trying to? No, he was with his other friend. They were just bullies. That's whatever. It's... Oh, they were making you suck him no, off. No, 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 it's the whole thing. Well, I'm sorry. I'm like half jump. of pretty like, clear. It means pretty clear what happened. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, can, can I just say something? It's a sad though? Thing. Uh, uh, it makes me sad. And and uh, uh, does that affect you? Like when you see that. Well, yeah, but I've seen, I've heard the story a hundred yes, times. Yeah, I know, but like now that you have a son, does I've that told him the fuck stories you I up? Like, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> does that affect you at all? I, like, did I, you imagine your son at five. I can't even go there. You can't mentally. Yeah, it's sad, dude. Oh come on! Do you, do you, do you, <laughs> look where it's brought me. <laughs> and boys will be boys after oh my all. God. It's, it's you have to give yourself some credit because you have taken all this horrible shit in your life and created a fucking empire. Uh, no, I would okay empire. empire. I was going to say you, empire, a, like. a humor brand. I like that. Yeah, a, an empire of humor. That's right. <laughs> I sit. I, I would top the jester with the broken crown and a sore honey. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, has he not made it okay for guys, alpha males? Because I'm not an alpha male. You're, you're, I'm fucking Bill Beta. <laughs> you're not Bill Beta. You're, you're an alpha male. Uh, Compared to who? Yeah, that's a good question. I wouldn't say physically. <laughs> I wouldn't say physically. I mean, you pose no threat physically. Oh, come on. Except to a pile of dirt <laughs> and maybe an apple. <laughs> but, but 
I think mentally you're an alpha male. I think mentally you're yeah. definitely. An, I, I, Jim, you have you you are you you can. He uses very strong language. Well, he he's no, but he's very he's uh, he's aggressive. He doesn't take shit. I mean, you know, you, you're assertive on stage. I mean, you huh? you, you, yeah, <laughs> you if somebody fucks you, you yell yell at him. You know, you'll fucking say fuck you back. That's yeah. and you'll you'll philosophy. You'll argue with them and use philosophy, and you'll 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 win arguments. I mean, what that, if they that, raise their fists? So well, I cower. Yeah, then he's turns into a fucking bowl of jello. <laughs> <laughs> I cower and I beg. You luckily, do? luckily, <laughs> luckily, when, <laughs> luckily, when the guy punches him, his hand just bounces back. That's right. <laughs> but do you no, dude? You <laughs> sorry, yep. dude. I, I mean, you've made a fucking you've made a insane career out of all your fucking fucked up shit. You know, it's funny. Uh, You're my, talking about the Jim Norton comedy brand. Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. The yeah. comedy brand. Yeah, the Norton brand. Yeah, somebody pointed that out to me recently. Like, yeah, you've done okay considering the shit you talk about. I'm like, Was, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 dude, not a guess. Most people who have stay stay victims carry it with them as a secret their whole lives. And I don't think I'm a victim. I, I'm, I, I You're not know. a victim, no, okay. and, I, and I don't think anybody who has that happen to them is a victim. Be, but number well, one, some people are. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, because, well, I'm saying remain a victim. Uh, you were back then. Yeah. No. You were back then. Oh, I was having fun. No, you, you weren't, weren't having fun. You, you smashed your fun. head on a rock because you were so scared. I just no, had one kid. Do you? You can't run yeah, from that cock one kid and say that, you're having fun. Yeah, that's not. I was running from him because he was going to beat me up. The other nine and cocks, I didn't run from them. It, with... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a strong, strong <laughs> counterpoint. <laughs> See, I told you he's an alpha male mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong counterpoint. Yeah, I ran right to him. Nine? Co- how do you uh, know the number? <laughs> uh, it's just crazy. Uh, but you, you, you. The same thing's true about you, right, Bobby? I had a I had a fucked up childhood, but that I I've I this is what this is why I say about Jim, and he was the first one to kind of do it. Well, not the first one, of course, other prior did it, but but he went on stage and really, and even in radio, he revealed himself fully, mm-hmm. not worrying about what we thought or what the audience thought. Just said, "Fuck it, this is who I am. I know I'm this," and we got to laugh at it, and it opened up a bunch of other people to be able to go go on the radio and reveal themselves and now you don't live with it now you, it's you're not you're not living with it being in a room full of funny motherfuckers and there's these secrets you have you don't have any secrets you know which is uh, pretty incredible i have some but nothing terrible well, but no, it's no, you nothing awful nothing no i mean we pretty much know what you do yeah. and you've told everybody and you've made fun of it and you've let us make fun of it and that's pretty fucking crazy that, I, went, I mean you know, i went to kith in la that was fun. I saw your photos. <laughs> what? I went to a, a store called Kith. <laughs> what is Kith? I don't know. It was so stupid. It's a big, it's a, it's a, it, there was one in New York. There's one in LA. It's a big popular sneaker store. I was there. I mean, I stopped there when we were there for the show. Like I made time to go there. Cause I was like, let me check out. Kith we happen to be here. looking at this other store and I just decided to go in and just fucking look around. It was, it was fun. Did you buy anything? No. Nah. No. Look at his shoe. No, he didn't. I know. He got that oh. shoe in Denmark. What's <laughs> wrong <laughs> my shoe? It's a, it's a plastic clog. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my shoe. I happen to have a nice shoe. Look, at that's not a good shoe. <laughs> it is a good shoe. Jim, Jim appreciates a solid shoe. <laughs> it's <not my> shoe. <laughs> hey, he likes a solid shoe. A nice plant of fish Wait a minute. Shoe. What is that? Yeah. That's what? a new shoe. It's just my shoe. No, that's, any... that's a that's a yeah. European boot. What is, it, what, what <laughs> what is, is that over there? Chilling. Uh, that's a that's a walking shoe. What? That's, that's a, a new uh, shoe. That's a new shoe. What is what? that? It's just a, it's just a. Yeah, what is it? What yeah. Is it? I'm not I'm not mad at it. I was what making fun it? of the old shoe without looking well, at the shoe. I don't know, guys. Let I don't say, want to talk about it. What is it? I don't Troy? know. There's, there's there's boost on the end of that, isn't there? Oh, hold on, Troy. I didn't put Those are those are Adidas boost, aren't they? Yeah. Look I mean, at you! Well, guys, come on! I don't want to look at you. And how are your wide feet doing in them? They're okay, actually. They're not yeah. as bad as I thought. Your ease. Yeah, they're not as bad as I thought. But I bought, I bought them and I tried. I'm like, let me see how they are. I, my manager was shipping my old shoes back with other stuff I bought because my suitcase was too small. Oh, I just throw them just out in a giant. No, no, no! I, I need them. I need them for the for when it's raining and stuff. But I'm not gonna wear those. You're not gonna wear those in the rain. I actually like these though. Yeah, no, I'll get more. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get a whole bunch of sneakers now. I yeah. will. Yeah, I, I'm gonna start buying some sneakers. Are you? Oh um, no. Are you? <laughs> oh yes. no, I need a new addiction. Yes, I love Jim stepping up his game. Yeah, 
Well, I'd rather have you addicted to sneakers than the other stuff. <laughs> and why, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm just slicing the pie up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we can go to Kith in New York. Oh. Uh, no, I didn't, I, I didn't need to go there again. The, the sneakers were okay. They're, they're not that expensive. One hundred and sixty bucks. It's not like it's a fucking. There's other places to go to in the city. Right. No, plenty but, of places. But I'll, I'm really surprised that you went to Kith. I mean, Kith's like a really cool spot. Yep. No, it was okay. I just uh, I, we, we were looking at Fred Siegel. There's a, we, we went in for coffee. Fred Siegel's a cool store. They have all kinds of weird shit and like, you know, good colognes and- On Melrose? No, there's a new one. Uh-huh. So we I went know in about there. it from the film Clueless. Oh, okay. Yep. And then from the garage, you can get into Kith. It was like, the, the, the entrance was like on the garage level. It was a right. weird entrance. It's up that hill. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was an okay store. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a super popular store right now. There was guys outside. Oh, we drove by. There was guys sitting out front. And uh, I'm like, they must be waiting for sneakers. It was, it was like Friday afternoon, and they had new shoes coming out t- Monday or today. So they're going to be there all weekend. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, they're doing t- what are, like Supreme and stuff here. What do they call it? Sneakerhead? Is that what sneaker they call yeah. yeah. Is that you, You're a sneakerhead. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like labels, the, Bob. Yeah. Huh? I don't huh? like labels. You what know about what I mean? on sneakers? No, I mean, I like that. I mean, I'm not going to wear a sneaker <laughs> without a label. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you're a, you, you're a sneakerhead. I, I, like, uh, I like the culture, I like, and I like sneakers, yeah. How much of those sneakers are you wearing now? These ones are cheap. These ones you can get for retail. They're like $150, 160 Wow. That's cheap? Yeah. Yeah, these ones you can you can still... These are the uh, Game Royal Jordan 1s. You could find them for retail. They're Wow. They're a... Uh, yeah. Everybody. Giannis Pompas is a Chris, Chris uh, D sneaker game. Uh, what was it? Uh, Paul Verzi. You ever had Paul Verzi on? I think... I know Paul. He works with Bur- Burr a lot. He's funny. Oh, you're gonna have Paul. Have we he's had him on? Or I know I've talked to him. I feel like he's been on, but okay, I might I be do wrong. too. I don't yeah, know. I think... I'm almost positive we had Paul in. Yeah. He's fucking great. But he's a big sneaker. Like, he won't... If you get a crease in him, he won't wear them. Right. Well, I buy two pairs, so... Why? I'm covered. Why two? One, so they don't fucking do that for the same... They don't crease them. One to rock, one to stock. Oh, dude, of all the things you want to protect, <laughs> sneakers are hard because they're on your fucking feet. Well, plus, I mean, it becomes such Captain a thing. Captain Obvious. But I mean, that's <laughs> the, uh, the one thing to protect. <laughs> but if you're going to have the roof of your car, it's in the elements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That was kind of silly. <laughs> but it's like if you collect shit that you hang in the house, it's fucking easy to keep it safe. Like your shoes you're walking with. <laughs> if the things are inside, they stay safer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Captain Obvious. <laughs> oh, fine. Enjoy just making a mockery of a boy. Yeah. <laughs> How do I stop this from getting dirty? Place it on a table. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm Captain Obvious. Place it inside on a table and right. never touch it. <laughs> when you, when you start, you both. When you, you start, guys come up with this little riff on the way on the yeah. West Highway, you fucking cunts. We did. We brainstorm. <laughs> yeah, we had a characters. Rag- <laughs> what if you do Captain Obvious? Just wait for Jim to say. So, the, but if you get deeper and deeper into it, like yeah. I'm at the point now where I went over over the weekend. Yeah. I bought like. Uh, Six six packs. Fuck of- yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. I fucking hate him. Oh, that Nick DiPaolo episode. Fuck how great chip. was how great was Nick on it though? I- <laughs> Nick was awesome. Uh, uh, Suck it, uh, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Nick was awesome on the last Chip podcast. I, I could literally have Nick on every week. <laughs> I would agree with I that. I love Nick. It's almost the perfect guest. Dude, yeah. Who's funny? I mean, I Nick hit- DiPaolo in a fucking sailor hat? He had his sailor hat on. Incredible. But he went with it. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate Chip. But I got like uh, six six packs of, of plastic shoe boxes to store things like against the wall. So I could put, that's where I, I keep all my sneakers now. And then I'm getting to the point where like all my collection of shoes that are still in the box. Yeah. That I just leave in the box. Uh-huh. There's a thing with Jordans that the paper that they pack them in yeah. over time it will like leave like a shiny glittery residue on the sneaker like if you leave it in there for months or years the paper so I'm sitting there going like well I don't want to so I think I have to go through all my shoes and take out the paper or at least fold the paper at the bottom so that they're not wrapped in the paper anymore you it's, know there's, there's like no, I'm fucking just, we're, we're stunned. people without yeah. water somewhere there's I know. children who don't have I know, and that's, food today and I'm sitting there going like what do I have what I, do I, I have to take the paper out of my because I don't want a shiny glitter on my you shoes. You want to protect that... your investment. Exactly. Why don't you get a pair of Toms? No, that's actually another. <laughs> you got to protect your investment. That's what I say every time I put a condom on. <laughs> <laughs> Which is never. So you've never said never, that before never in your life. That. Yeah, ever. You don't wear. Oh, no, that's a don't whole be other. silly. Stop it. <laughs> I want to go to this call. Of, um, I don't sure. know. Sure. Hey, Kevin and Philly. What's up, buddy? 
gentlemen. Yes. There's giant news in the world, the ONA world. You got to address it. I'm. I literally. I'm reading what you said, and I have no idea what you're talking about. Some I. Tr- I truly don't know what you're talking about. What okay. Is- some nobodies have a podcast and have eviscerated Greg Hughes's, aka Ob, new podcast. Jocktobered it beyond any level you guys have ever done. It's, oh. it's, it's amazing. That's not oh, nice. okay. But you're saying uh, you're saying uh, instead of talking about sneakers, talk about his meltdown. What kind of meltdown did he have? I I truly don't know. You talking about it would cause the meltdown because he's going to do the whole. You know, I fucking didn't listen oh. to it. Fucking people listen to it for me. Oh. You guys it. Okay, so a podcast kind of jocktobered him. Um, what's the podcast that did it? I have no idea. There are a bunch of nobodies, but it got tons of leverage. Oh, so. okay. Look, I'm going to tell you something. All right. Well, thanks, Kevin. I I, I didn't hear. I thought I, he said he said Opie's meltdown. I'm like, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm I'm way too worried about the damage that the tissue paper is going to do to my dead stock <laughs> sneakers. I'm happy that that happened, by the way. To worry about any of this. I would uh, love it. Thing? I would too. fucking Why? love it if he took it out and his dumb sneakers all had fucking wax paper <laughs> melted to him. I, I mean, oh. it's it's yeah because it's you just look. I have all these boxes and I'm like. Why am I buying these second pairs if they're just all going to get glittery? <laughs> it's a terrible thing. That made me so happy. I don't even know why a shoe company would do that. Why would you? Because you're supposed to take your shoes out. You don't. They, they don't fucking put them to last forever. Why would food yeah. have, make things that have an expiration date? Because you're going to eat it, not just look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fucking shoes. Why would they make milk that's spoiled? Yeah, that's understand. exactly it. Yeah, they, on. they didn't think there was a bunch of fucking lunatics collecting them. They're sneakers. They knew. By now they know. They cost twenty two dollars to make. There's a little kid making them in China. And you guys buy them for five bills and put them in a closet. Who's and you guys? What did you how much do you think that your shoes cost? Seventeen hundred bucks. These oh, are A dogs. Wow. They're A dogs. You have A dogs? Yeah, these are actually A dogs. Oh wow. The soles I have different soles you can put on these. Really? Like a hiking sole, a rollerblade sole. You- they make a rollerblade <laughs> sole? <laughs> There's a rock climbing sole. Yeah, these have different soles. Can I see them? You pop them on and pop them off. Yeah, these are... These Can are I called, try to pop them off? They're called... I don't have the sole. I need the sole key. Oh, yeah. Oh, the sole oh, key. Sole key. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I like the uh, Converse. The All-Stars. Chuck Taylors? Chuck Taylors. Uh, John Varvatos. Yeah. That's my shoe. I hate John Varvatos. Why? His dumb outfits. You look great in John no, Varvatos. No, I don't. I'm yes, you a, would. I'm not a John Varvatos guy No, either. I don't like the name... What Varvados? It bugs me. Oh. It's kind of like I want to. I want to hear uh, cheesy, Troy right? chime in on that. Yeah, no. no. What John Varvados? I mean, not for me. But not, it's not for Troy. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm I, a big fan of the Converse. I'm going to uh, say something, and I don't say it to be offensive. I can't fit in it. John Varvados is kind of for like older, Fruity? Old, older people that old, kind old of rock dudes. Old to rock hang dudes on. kind of don't yeah. really know what's cool anymore. Like, I remember yeah. like guys in their for four, like in mid forties, mid midlife, no, maybe even older, right? like older. Rolling Stone era. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, their their Converse is but the maybe shit. the Converse are cool. I don't know. About they're that. the fucking best. Do you think this guy? Let's talk this guy. Uh, fucking. Uh, well, I was gonna say because oh, uh, we were talking about Memorial Day weekend. Okay. And I did want to ask you if you saw Trump's tweet about Memorial Day. I did not. Oh, but I know he's. I know he's getting shit. And I was too busy watching everybody kill Ivanka just for saying that she liked having her kid and she was happy with her kid or whatever she was saying. What did Ivanka say that people were mad? People said it was tone deaf because she was just holding up her baby and just looking at the baby. Why is that tone deaf? And because of what's been happening with the fucking uh, kids being taken away from their parents. Yeah, but you can still like your own baby. I know. I, I know. Like <laughs> I know. It's. I mean, yeah. The, so the the controversy, I guess, is that there are migrants. Uh, migrant children are being lost by the government. They've they've misplaced fifteen hundred kids. But at the same time, I spent the weekend enjoying my child. Bob, I'm assuming, enjoyed his child. Ivanka probably enjoyed her child. Yeah, great, like, that's... great weekend. Right, exactly. You, oh. It didn't bother you that the fifteen hundred migrant children were missing. Who? Right, right, exactly, right. So his tweet. Yeah, read his tweet. Um. Am I supposed to stay home it's and not that be bad. depressed? And, well, Dad, can we go play? No. There's migrant children there's, missing. There's children missing, Maximus. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> How dare you play in that backyard? It's like, what's a migrant child? It's, it's you, but with a tan, and you live somewhere else with no food, and what you're missing. <laughs> so Donald Trump tweets out. <laughs> put that iPad down, you little bitch. <laughs> you called him a little bitch. Get that i. Put that iPhone and iPad down and all you get out of your toy room because you were so upset about the missing children. Get off that zip line I just bought you and put up. Did you buy him a zip line? Yeah, <laughs> Bob goes over the top sometimes. I love it. I built I built a platform and all shit with him. Yeah, really? You should come over. I will with well, the birthday parties soon, right? Soon, yeah, yeah, okay. 
uh, Donald Trump tweeted, Happy Memorial Day. Those who died for our great country would be very happy and proud at how well our country is doing today. Excellent tweet. Best. He's not done. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately not. Oh. Uh, best economy in decades, lowest unemployment numbers for blacks and Hispanics ever, and women in 18 years, rebuilding our military, and so much more. And then he follows it up with nice. the word. Nice. Nice. <laughs> his, uh, his, my with favorite the exclamation part, point. His capitalization uh, it leaves a little something to be desired. You don't capitalize blacks and military. They're not, they're not, Hispanics is the <laughs> national, or, or national, you don't, he just throws cap when he thinks the word should be capitalized. You're he not really, supposed to capitalize He really blacks, tweets like no. me. <laughs> has this, he has the same grammar as me. <laughs> yeah. That's a great point, the capitalization of blacks. And military. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That's not, that's not you don't capitalize the word military. It's How do you a, like the exclamation point? Do you like the ex exclamation point at the end of nice? You nice! Hate, nice! You hate, you hate, you hate that, don't you? It's a little, yeah, I don't like, the, I don't mind it once in a while, but overuse of exclamation points is is literally <laughs> the, the biggest sign of being a shit writer. Uh -huh. When you look at people who overuse exclamation points, because they have so little faith in what they're saying, they think they have to stress it with punctuation. I hope all the fans who see your show at the end go, you are the best, and put nine exclamation points at the end of it. But you see, <laughs> once in a while, if, if you're saying, like, I went to this concert, it was great. All right, that's something you put exclamation point. Right. But people who are like, <laughs> and then we got home, and we were all tired. What the fuck is with your exclamation yeah, point, What are you so asshole? excited about? <laughs> what are you so excited about? Also, the word nice. There's no reason for that word to be in that. And tweet. we went down, and we weren't sure what was waiting for us. Exclamation point! How excited are you? <laughs> I fuck you. It depends on how you use the word nice. If you go if you go nice, you don't need it. But if you go nice, uh, yeah, but it's about you. <laughs> and then he shot guns off. <laughs> right. Nice, uh, pow, 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 pow. Or if you're just taking your zipper down and pulling it out and going. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so that'd be the other person saying that. <laughs> no, no, the, I would say it. With the right. same my own. Yeah. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> nice That's piece. how he punctuates yeah. his tweets. That's but, true. But it's just amazing that uh, <laughs> Donald Trump read the tweet. That he, ju he just wrote a tweet complimenting himself. And then he read the compliments and wrote, Nice. Nice. I'm, I'm doing good. Nice. Nice. It's just yeah. funny watching all like the Memorial Day tributes. On one hand, <laughs> you have people doing it appropriately where they're like, look at all the people that And I just watched Saving Private Ryan the night before. Oh, God, yeah. And so it was like, oh, my God, these people, they make the ultimate sacrifice. I can't believe what their families go through. It's awful. Did you like it? Saving Private Ryan yeah. is a great movie. I, I haven't seen it in years, but it was really good. Especially oh. that opening scene. I didn't like, that was the one part I didn't like with okay. the beach scene. Terribly shot. You don't like the Normandy scene. Terribly shot. Too loud. Too yeah, loud. Too loud. Right. Too many people falling. Yeah, and what's with the gore? Too much gunshots. <laughs> uh, glorifying violence. I didn't care for it. Right. But it felt like I was there, and I don't, if I wanted to be there, I just, you know, I would I'd go to war. I don't Absolutely. Want right. I, I, I'm no, here. I don't want to be in Normandy. You're 100% yeah. right. Be there. 100% right. Lighten it up. But, yeah, to go from, like, watching this Saving Private Ryan and at Normandy and all this stuff and going through all the families and everything and then yeah. looking at everybody's tributes and they're going like, oh, you know, you feel so bad in the ultimate sacrifice of families and then Donald Trump is like, hey, but how great am I doing now? <laughs> look, look, look what I've got going on over here. Nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we're looking nice. Uh, we're looking I, know your own, I know your grandfather's dead. <laughs> Good for him, but check this out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, if, you, if your grandfather was alive, yeah. he'd be able to see me doing all this stuff. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, your daddy died in Vietnam. You didn't really know him. Your life's a little fucked up, but now it's better. You know why? Unemployment rate is down. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and blacks who weren't allowed to, to live the same way they used to, now their unemployment rate is down, too. Yeah. Nice. 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 <laughs> uh, we're looking at a porno Troy Brown called Shaving Ryan's Private. <laughs> okay. It's a bunch of men around one man, and they're all helping shave his genital hair. <laughs> How helpful, boys. <laughs> looks like a bunch of O&A fans, too. <laughs> No, the one guy is leaning back, and they're all wearing military pants, and they're all looking at the camera, and apparently this man needs his private, his genital shaved, so there's five other gentlemen trying to help him shave. But I love the one guy reaching in and just holding on to the shaft. <laughs> also, the rage doesn't hit it. He's being helpful. That's very good. Yeah. Ever Shaving since, Ryan's privates. Ever since that movie has come out, I've done the, well, I mean, I, you know, when I was a kid, the Saving Ryan's Privates joke. You just flip the words around. Uh -huh. I have never thought to make it Shaving Ryan's Privates. Yeah, it's better. That makes much more sense. It's a much better movie than Saving Ryan's Privates. Uh -huh. so you like shaving better. Oh, my God. Yeah. You like that. It's great. Yeah. Great film. Yeah. It's poorly shot, <laughs> but, you know, funny. Shot on 8mm Sony. <laughs> Well. <laughs> <laughs>
I, 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 I tried to throw Sony in to say I it. understood. I went eight millimeter, nothing. Sony. Oh. You know what? You, you messed up. You know what, what the end should have been? Yep. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh. <laughs> I do wish that people would just have, Sam, go. Thank you. <laughs> would just have fun with stuff like this, though. Like when the president does something foolish like that, just like. If we could joke well, about they, it, but they of used being, to. We they used, used to, to. We used to have fun with this horse shit. No, now it's outrage. It, now it's the, the 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 end of the world's coming every fucking day, right? And especially with comedians, it's like, can't you just be funny? George Carlin hated a lot of shit, true, and was angry with a lot, and he just wrote about it, and he made the people that he hated laugh at them. Right. He Even though they didn't know, he wouldn't always tell them he was talking about right. them. He had the way of taking the audience. There'd be 3,000 people in the audience, and he'd be attacking a certain thing, but it's like he's attacking half the people in the audience, and they're still going with him. He was right. Yeah. It was right. unbelievable, that, that, but that's what we're supposed to do. And, and really, and, the only way you're going to like ever change anybody's mind, which is difficult enough anyway, but you're not going to do it by reprimanding them no. or going like, no, this is what it's... If you can make somebody laugh yeah. at something that they thought was true, but like, oh, that is actually kind of funny. Yeah, Maybe that's not... All comics get off Twitter except for Colin Quinn. <laughs> That's what I think. Because, Colin, because we're it's comics, done, it's I, we shouldn't be on it. It's it, stupid. It, we do. It does nothing. <laughs> it does nothing. What does it do? It's still fun. Yeah, it does nothing. The problem yeah. with comics it, on Twitter is stop trying to stop trying to be so poignant. Right. Once in a while, you want to make a point, fine. But it, it, you know, people like us because we're funny. You're trying to be funny. So yes. at least just shut the fuck up and try to be funny sometimes. But if you're not being funny, don't Ever. try to be serious. Yeah. I mean, I mean, don't try to go on there and make. I mean, every once in a while you can say something, make a statement. But how many? I mean, look, it took out Anthony. It took out DePaulo. I mean, it fucking takes guys' yeah. careers away. Yeah. Twitter, not their podcasts or radio shows. Twitter. Well, so it's, yeah, it's what's the way people can grab it and it looks bad in print. There's no content. It's just look what he said, and you can send it everywhere. There's no effort to listen the, to the it. Tone. It's, you can't find yeah. tone at all. Yeah, but it said Dane Cook started it all. He became big on MySpace. Right. And then people slow, like here and there, people started becoming kind right. of Twitter famous. And I think a lot of young comics are going like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to open mics or whatever, but if I can build an audience on Twitter, I can, well, I can well, get ahead of the game. Didn't Rob Delaney do that? No. Rob yeah. Delaney is, uh, he's in, he's yeah, in England doing a show. Yeah, he's big in England. He's got a show. Yeah. And he's he was just in Deadpool. Was yeah. He? yeah. He, he was, uh, was Paul, right? Huh? I don't know. I only watched the first 15 minutes one. of Deadpool too. No, very funny. Was it bad? No, I just left. The, we got there early, so we snuck into the first fifteen minutes of Deadpool two, and then went to a quiet place. Great, sorry, how's a quiet place? I want to see that. Great. Okay, I sh so it's still in the theaters. Yeah. Well, okay, you, I gotta. Well, get, I gotta is... get a young lady and go. So, ladies, whoever wants to see a quiet place, hit me up this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and I put parentheses around ladies. <laughs> no, 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 Bob. I'm telling you, I'm looking for some. Forgive me for saying this. Somebody with a cunt. Let's go see a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Jim is shaking things up a little bit. That's right. I want somebody with a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody is freshening things up. I don't want to have to spit on my dick no more. <laughs> I just want to put it in and have the juices take over. Yeah, <laughs> somebody. I, I want to see that movie. That looks really good. Yeah, you should see it soon, though. It'll be out of theaters very soon. Okay, we'll what be there it? this weekend. A Quiet Place. Quiet Place. It's a scary movie Yes. where basically there are monsters that can uh, hear, uh. but they can't see. And so you have to be quiet all the time because if they hear you, they come out and isn't kill that a, you. Isn't that a T Rex? T Rexes have eyes. Yes. Yeah, but they really can't see. But right? do you know what the noise is? This is what the problem is. They can only hear certain tones. Mm -hmm. So they say, but everyone does it. And then that's when they come out and get you. It's like if it's really quiet and you go, he, lee, 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 lee. <laughs> That's when they get you? That's when they get you. They can hear you. I, yes. I, I wish people were like that <laughs> right now. I, 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 do you know how much I wish they were real? He just got sucked into the wall. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> it's really scary. I like the idea, the concept of it. I've heard it's good. I've saw the trailer, and people said, look, it was fucking horrifying. So I want to see it. Yeah, it's good. It's how, le, 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 le. That's not in the film. <laughs> how, fa how fast do you think Rich would die? Rich Voss would die in this movie. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be the first that's actually, that's I'm going to be at. <laughs> 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 My news. <laughs> I made a move. <laughs> what is your name? Is CD? <laughs> <laughs> a quiet place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to give away too much no. of it because there are lots of little plot points and things and twists. And they're having. This is one of the few nice. movies that. <laughs> yeah, I sat there and I said, "Man, this is one of the few movies that didn't give everything away in the trailer." Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> I. I, I I saw Deadpool. 
Yeah. And it was fucking great. Dude, I just wanted to see the Avengers movie that everybody's talking about. Everybody loves this Avengers movie. Yeah. They moved it to the little theaters and all the movie theaters. It was sold out this weekend. Great. On fucking The Avengers movie was the best one so far. That's why I went to The Quiet the, Place. Thanos is the best <clears throat> villain in any of the movies. Although... We had to move to a different movie theater to find a quiet place. Ooh. And Jess was like, oh, I'm sorry. I should have bought tickets in advance, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, here's what I assume happens. And I don't know if I was correct or not, but I was able to put together very, very credible, probably true plots for Deadpool 2 and for Avengers, yes. just based on the fact that all the superhero movies are kind of the same. Right, go ahead. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, we have four hours. Three. Not even three. Three. Oh, you guys are counting. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go this weekend and see a quiet place. Quiet place. But I don't want to go by myself. Well, who are you looking for? What are you looking for? In the person. Somebody with a cunt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what other things does she need? A head. <laughs> somebody with a cunt and a head. So you want somebody that wants to see a quiet place, uh, uh, somebody that's got a head. And somebody who has a cunt. Yes, and, and uh, uh, right, at right. least one arm. One arm? Okay. What about legs? Optional. Okay, so amputees are fine. Sure. As long as... No, because then we need better seats to whole thing. I don't right. want to sit up front. Okay. Yeah, yeah but should... I'm going to try to see that this weekend. Huh? Yeah, I would recommend it. It was really good. I should have went in LA. I was so stupid. Yeah, very stupid. I didn't think. That's okay. That's okay. We all make huge mistakes. I was in our literally lives. just eating like a little piggy. What or, were you eating? Just, you just eat? Nothing. You know, just bullshit food. I went out on a boat with Jonathan and uh, his wife and my ex and me and their dog Murray. Was it just you guys? Yeah, it was. We had, it was a little boat. It was cold Sunday afternoon. Where'd you get a oh, Marina Del Rey? I uh, no. It was down by. Oh, this is so stupid. It was down by Long uh, Long Beach. Long Beach. Because yeah, I wanted to see the fucking uh, place Richard Pryor shot that special in nineteen seventy. I saw the video. It's still you there. Did, yeah. yeah, it's still there. That's that. Um, I forget what it's called. The theater at Long Beach or whatever. Does Jonathan have a boat? No, he rented one, and he's oh. actually a good boat driver. And they brought all kinds of snacks. Don't Somebody they call them boat drivers. Uh, he's a good boat driver. I don't think they call him boat drivers. Yeah, I don't think boat driver. He's not a captain. Is a well, the you, captain of the ship. You're no. actually a captain. When you're driving the boat, you become the captain. He's not That's a right. captain. Maritime like, law says whoever is driving the boat is the captain. That's like saying an airplane driver. You yeah, maybe you you're right. Have, no. You say that. It's captain. Captain. It's captain of the boat. Captain Jonathan. You were the co-captain. I no, I didn't know anything. I just ate the snack. They put goldfish on. Let me tell you something about goldfish. There's, there's fucking no better food you than s- little yellow goldfish. You sat on a boat orange. and ate Did goldfish it, And I ate fucking... Chocolate covered almonds, and I ate salami. Did any seal? <laughs> did any seals jump on the boat and try to high five you? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like you were just eating a lunchable. That, I had really, a very childish lunch, but it was fun. It was a, little, fun. a little chilly sounds on the water, fun. and I yeah. had to piss a lot. Did you have a windbreaker? I was one. <laughs> 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 That's rude. That's rude. Did you did you pee on the off the side of the boat? No, because John's wife was there and fucking uh, you know, and there's people on the bed. It was just too many people. The students riding around these little dumb. They look like bicycles, but they're on where like a. Sh- where uh, did you pee? Jet skis. Yeah, no, no, not jet skis. Even like a surfboard, almost like an exercise thing. Surf. We pulled over. Jonathan pulled up to a dock, and we pissed once. Went to a bathroom. Oh. It was fun. Sounds How like annoying is that? Having to pull, you know, how hard it is to pull a fucking dumb boat. Can up you to pull a dock? the boat over? I have to wee. Yeah. Oh. oh. Just especially pee. the amount of times Jim needs to pee. Oh, it's every forty-five minutes, nuts. the boat needs to get pulled over. Hey, hold on, hold, on, hold on. You don't chime in there about my genital habits. <laughs> <laughs> I only had to pee once. I actually, I wasn't that bad actually, Travis. I did pretty good. I Everybody pretty knows once. if you go on the boat with Jim, you have to give him an empty Gatorade bottle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember I was in the car with fucking coming oh. back from a Black Sabbath concert, and I was with my I was with my buddy, and he had to piss. And uh, we were in the back, and, and fucking, he didn't want to pull over, so he has a jar that he travels with, and he just pisses into a jar. He was fucking kneeling away from me, facing the back of the thing, pissing. I remember I was standing at Patrice's Oh, house that's right, it was Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> 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 was it? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I stayed at Patrice's house once, he had a big, like, <laughs> jug next to his bed. And he would just, because he, he didn't want to- Next to his bed? He didn't want to wake up in the middle of the night and go pee, <clears throat> so he just- Piss in the thing. Wow. I understand and then just that. Empty it. Did what? I used to, uh, yeah, where did I say? I used to have maybe my parents' house where I would piss into a jar. I had that. It's really odd. And now you just do it right into the bed. Sometimes I do if I get nervous. Yeah, but then you have to get up and change the sheets. Dude, I was up 30 times last night pissing. It's, it's insane. Really? The amount of tinkles. When I was in. 
<laughs> what is that? You don't go <laughs> see the, the amount of tinkles. How many tinkles were there? Oh, just an endless amount. Wow. That's your prostate, right? Yeah, my prostate's fine. I've had it sonogrammed. It's fine. It's your brain. Yeah. And that's in my body, too. Your brain is in your body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was a Cub Scout, we were on a school bus. You know, we were probably on a camping trip or something. And I had to pee. And they brought a Gatorade bottle on the bus. And they made all the scouts that had to pee piss in the same bottle. And Ooh. so I, 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 I and did one creepy scout master tuck it away somewhere, <laughs> go home and smell it, and fucking jerk himself off? Some yeah. creep. Yeah, I don't know whose idea this whole thing was. Ugh. It's his. He has stickers on it from years. <laughs> <laughs> Little wee below puts all, Sammy. Puts all patches on it. I was a wee below at the yeah, time. Yeah, wee below. Yes. Yeah, I remember your uniform, your little legs. Yeah. I used to say, look at those little smooth toothpicks. Okay, smooth. And I tickle them. (laughs) He's little, little, little. Not good. So he said, uh, I used to give you raspberries. I didn't want to do it. Back you know, I didn't want legs. To... Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to piss <laughs> in the bottle. That's disgusting you know? in the back of your legs. It's terrible. It's so it's not bad. not a place where you ever want to put your lips on a kid. <laughs> it's such an intimate area. <laughs> it's worse than the penis. It is. Yeah, that <laughs> it's always... very bad. That followed soon after. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Just remove all subtlety. Go on now. <laughs> I didn't want to use it, obviously. The, the, the bottle, that is. Right. But I held it in until like towards the end of the trip when I finally had to and I used it. Right. And then they were like, oh, you know the rules. And I was like, what? And they were like, last scout that uses the bottle has to bring it home. And I was like, what? I'm not doing that. I'm not going to take oh. the bottle home. No. And the scout master was like, no, Sam, you have to take the bottle. Yeah. Like really forcefully. And it was like, he handed me the bottle Ugh. and I took it and I immediately just put it down in the parking lot and went home. I'm like, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not taking this home. You're fucking idiot. But I don't know why the scout man. He probably wanted so you to throw because he didn't want to throw it out. He probably wanted you. He's like, yeah, let's give it to little fucking piss hand Roberts. Well, now it's yeah. stuck and now it was left in an elementary school parking lot. I'm like, I'm not, why would you give this to a kid to bring home? It's disgusting. That's gross. Yeah, I don't think you could do that nowadays. I don't I, think you could give I, a kid a bottle of, of the whole scout troop's piss mm. and have him bring it home. I, I just went camping with Ari Shafir and Joe List up in the up in the Catskills. Oh yeah, the Bushwick boys. No, Bushcraft boys. Oh, party, Bushcraft. Bu- Bushcraft party boys. Oh, sorry. Don't fuck it up. I'm, I did. You called yourself the Bushcraft party boys. We're, we're the Bushcraft party boys. Right. Yeah. That's not what we. That's that's what we're called. You, Joe List, Ari Shafir. We're adding new people. Who's who uh, could be the fourth? We're member? we're figuring it out. You want to go overnight camping out in the woods? I'd, I'd rather ride through parking lots and find the bottle he left. <laughs> that's, that's obvious. <laughs> right. No, I, I don't like camping, buddy. I don't Little like ice it. still good. I, you'd love it. You'd actually like the hiking part. And, and oh, my up. God. I'd fucking hate it. Why? I hate hiking. Why do you think everybody likes hiking? Hiking stinks. Hiking's the worst. <laughs> I love it. It's all uneven ground and twigs. Yeah. Fuck that. Bugs. <laughs> Fuck you. You got a car, right? Yeah. So I, despise, I despise I, hiking. I had to shit as soon as we got to camp. You have to go. You have to go 150 feet away from the camp or river or the trail. Mm-hmm. You have to find a spot, and then you have to dig a hole, and then you have to shit in the hole. The shit, shitting outside, squatting down like you're supposed to. I've I shit a rope. It was the yeah. greatest shit I've ever taken. It was just fat, and it was just shit. What and did then, you wipe with? It, I I have toilet paper, and then I use one baby wipe. Wipe toilet paper goes in the hole. And then one little baby wipe. Where's the baby wipe go? The baby wipe goes in a plastic bag, and then you throw it away. Ew, you have to carry it but with there you? But there was no shit on it. There was no shit. I wiped. Oh, it's your little butt peanut, juice. Little peanut butter. Little, oh, a little, so that's shit. It was that's, a little, a little smudge. Shit. Little, I mean, it wasn't bad. Yeah. It's uh, in a plastic bag in your knapsack? No, it's in the trash now. Well, I mean, but, but it but was you right had to carry. You had to carry your fucking shit wipe. Out of the <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah, you can't. I mean, I use. Why is toilet paper biodegradable, but yes. wipes are not? Yeah, w- the wipes are not. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I see. But the shit, it looked like I've never seen a shit because you just shit and it goes down the drain. But when you shit and you have to like cover it back up, you get to see your shit like in the sun. Did you like it? <laughs> it was great. You're impressed by it. It was shit, and then it looked like there was little eggs, egg, sh- little egg shits. Oh. Like alien eggs, and then it went back to shit, and then more alien eggs. Did it what? stink? Ah, uh, no, it didn't stink. Because the water isn't there to mask the odor. No, it didn't stink. Why? Let me ask you a question. Big, why do beefy you ha- shit. Why do you have to uh, shit in a hole if it's nature? 
You have to bury it. Why? Because you because so nobody steps in comedian shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was way worse than regular people shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> just nachos and fucking quesadillas. <laughs> Why, Jim? You wouldn't want to dig a hole. I certainly would not. <laughs> you would prefer just on Jim, solid ground. Um, How would you feel though if some of your campmates, like your your cohorts, like Bob Kelly and Ari Shafir, stepped in your shit? I'm 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 trying to think of it's like how would somebody describe a sunset, or 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 or, or the birth of a child or something? Really? The joy, right? I'm trying to think of what pure joy is. Maybe you just go like this. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It made me really happy, especially if they're barefoot. My buddy's just stepped in my shit. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I remember when my friend Mark Rosenberg, we were fucking uh, out in the, outside in Edison, New Jersey, and we were sitting there in the fucking grass, and Mark leaned back. And he put his hand in a fresh pile of dog shit. <laughs> Dude, it was so fresh. It, it, it was like he pulled it up and like the whole glop of shit came oh. up. With, it had fucking grass, uh, grass pieces in it. <laughs> oh my God. He leaned back, ready for a, ready for a nice yeah. moment of sunshine and hit directly into dog shit. <laughs> yeah. That is disgusting. It's one of the greatest memories I'm ever gonna have. <laughs> that yeah. is disgusting. I'm 49. That was pro I was probably eight when that happened. So Did maybe you? or nine. That's 40 years ago, and I remember it as clearly as I can see you guys. And the joy has not abated one ounce. Did you get a good laugh out of it when it happened? It was. As a kid, as an adult, that's great. As a kid, that's like fucking. It's it's. This you, is you this can't you can't find <laughs> words as a child to describe your buddy putting his hand in dog shit. <laughs> this is why Jim became a comedian for the rest of his life. For the last forty years, he's been searching to replace that laugh, and it has not happened. I've yet. been looking for that laugh since yeah, since well, fucking come, uh, come camping, take a nice shit in the woods, and fucking shit in my tent. So, I'll never get that childhood joy back of just watching my friend put his hand in duty. No, because all uh -huh. the pressures of adulthood are how gone. About the, how about the time when you shit in my barrel? Uh, oh, in, yeah. in, the, in the hotel room. I was talking about that on Sam's. Uh, me and Sam were out in L.A. Yes, uh, we were talking about that with Natasha and um, and and Moshe. Yeah, the I worst. mentioned I shit in your in your fucking garbage bag. It's Just great you stuff. and Chelsea Peretti. Yeah, uh, giggling in my room. I'm like, why are they Chelsea giggling? Chelsea thought it was funny. Hilarious. <laughs> Awesome. I, had to, I had to go to another floor and leave my barrel. You did? Yeah. Be, what am I going to do? Clean the shit? Mm -mm. No, I fucking just took it, went, got on the elevator with a bucket she full didn't of do shit. It. Only me. I'm the only one to shit. I know. You did. And it was perfect, too. It was like a dark. You looked like, at it. it. I had to. I, did, I was like, what is. And then I looked. Ugh. It was like a ice cream did cone. Did you gag? Of shit. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. It was black, dude. I would imagine. Like black tar heroin. So you guys hike up? Yes. You shit in a in a in a in no. A we ship hiked pit. up, hiked up, hiked down. We call it ship pit. We hiked down. No, but you could call it ship, ship pit. I like a ship pit. Can you make me a ship pit? Yeah, I had to make my own ship pit. You make your own ship pit. Okay. Yeah. But if I'm a rookie, could you help me with it? <laughs> um, Why? You have to figure out your own ship pit. <laughs> oh, okay. You have to YouTube ship, <laughs> ship pit. Is that charming? If, I, if you're gonna kiss somebody and you're like, come on, plant one right here on the ship pit. <laughs> 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 Point to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it was bad. So okay, so you hike up. Yeah, hike up the mountain. Yes, sir. With, and this is in Westchester, the Bestchester. This is in uh, yeah Catskills. Okay, went up Catskills. Okay, so you hike up the mountain. Yes, make a shit pit. No, hike up, hike back down the other side to the lake. We're Why near bother? a lake. Just go around. You, what, go around what? The mountain. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Too big. There's the only there's only a couple ways in, I and see. they're all fucking kind of up and down. Yeah, it's yeah, annoying. To the, well, if you're hiking, it's not. That's kind of what. You well, think. you know, walking uphill is not fun. Walking Troy, down, you it like sucks. walking uphill? No, not at all. Yeah. Walking downhill is worse. No, it's funner. You can no, run real quick. No, yeah. it hurts your legs worse. Troy, you like walking uphill or downhill? Downhill, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Troy, do you say yes to whatever Sam wants you to? Pretty much. Okay. I uh, appreciate that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> walking uphill blows. It's the worst. It fucking blows. Hey, but, well, Everything yeah. uphill, riding a bicycle uphill, oh, all terrible. of it sucks. It was pretty fucking tough. Exactly. It was really tough. So then you walk downhill. Downhill was easy, but it hurts you. It hurts. Uphill, you gotta, you gotta, uphill hurts your heart, like mentally. Right. Like, and, 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 you, your breath is gone. Downhill hurts your legs. Because you got to stabilize yourself the your whole knees. way. Yeah, your knees. Yeah. yeah, your knees and your quads fucking hurt. So but then you get to the bottom of the mountain. We you have make to set, a, set up camp. Make a shit pit. We have, no, you set up camp first. Oh, okay. And then you realize when what you're bending you... down, putting your, your tent pole sticks in, and you're like, oh, I got to take a hot fucking Italian sub shit. 
Right. Did and you have an Italian sub before you befo- left? Before we left, yeah, the hike. Is that well, camping food? Uh, well, no, we brought camping food, too. Okay. Little, uh, but you guys had subs right before? <laughs> well, that was Joe List's thing, dude. We should get a sub. <laughs> we should get a sub. Well, we're going to be hungry on the hike. And we're all like, okay. And then we have subs. And Ari forgot his sub in my car. That's great. So I split my sub with Ari. Oh. How do you forget a sub? I don't know. Does that mean your car, when you got back to it, smelled like sub? We, uh, a little like turkey and ha- cheese. Sure. Yeah, okay, that's bit. not bad. The that's next a, day. Okay. Yeah, and then you set up the t- you set up your camp, and right. then I was like, I got to go take a hot one. Right. And I, I was a little nervous. Do you go off into I'm the woods a, by yourself? I, 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 don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. I was a little nervous because I'm a little heavy, and I didn't know squatting down how long I could squat. Plus I'm a light. little heavy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to correct him, Jim? <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Okay. A nice. A nice. <laughs> and plus your legs are tired from up and downhill. Terrible. Your feet hurt. So, and do you go and create your shit I pit? went. You should bring you, a toilet chair. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's <laughs> carry more shit. I actually went, that'd be a great... Um, a camping thing, but, like a chair that yes, a backpack you, toilet. I'll just, tell you what. You know how you bring chairs uh, up up once in a while. There should be an option. You know what? No, um, huh? Jim's not going to say it on the air because no. he wants to invent it. He wants to bring this to the Shark Tank. Well, you could have wrap it. Just have like a flat thing with a hole in the middle, like a toilet seat Don't that wraps around give the tree. Away ideas. We're saving it for Shark Tank. Wraps Sorry. around the tree. Who the fuck wants that? Yeah, pitch that to me. Terrible Wonderful. idea. You know why? Uh, boo. There's you nothing proprietary uh, about that. Man, you just like the word proprietary. Yeah, he does. I watched Shark Tank last night. Because you do. You want. You lean against a tree. You put your back against Word it. Word him up. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you dig the hole under where you think Allegedly. your asshole is going to be. Yeah. I see. Allegedly, but this is far where from, your asshole would be. This is far from the rest of the party boys, right? Pretty far, 150, 200 yards feet away. Yeah. So for privacy. Yeah. Well, yeah. You don't want to shit near. You don't want to like if Joe has to go hang the bear bag sure. or someone has to go get. What's a bear bag? You have to hang the food at night. You can't leave it uh, near your tent. Bear bags can't reach. A bear bag. That's where you store bear cum. <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. But you liked it though. It charmed me. Yeah, you got excited by it. Yeah. He really did That's get excited. All that counts. <laughs> he was giggling through the whole thing. I know. It just made me giggle. I charmed myself. Char- yeah. <laughs> Jim sometimes looks in the mirror and goes, You're a charming motherfucker. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one charming motherfucking pig. <laughs> So, <laughs> Dad, Sam, go back to you. You put the bear bag <laughs> up in a tree branch. Yep. Can a bear just reach up and grab the bear bag? Not if you, not if you put it up right. Not if you put it uh, in the uh, the right spot. Like uh, I think it's ten feet up. Then you got to climb Dang up a tree it. to get it. No, you just throw uh, throw a carabiner uh, with uh, some uh, cordage over a tree branch, around four feet out, around, uh, and then it, hang it down. Put the bag on it. I see. Pull it up. Because a bear's not going to pull the goddamn thing. They don't have thumbs. No, they don't. They're not dexterous. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah, so you, uh, and then you tie a, put a, uh, a twig on it or a branch, and then right. it let it go, and it goes back up and stops halfway down. So even if they climb the tree out on the branch, they can't get it, because sure. it's around four feet down from the branch. Separate uh, tents or same tent? Separate tents, unfortunately. That wasn't Unfor- your fault. No, I wanted to get a nice big... Uh, one tent, one yeah. blanket. Maybe a uh, nice maybe back a, mountain fucking yeah. hand spit. Yeah, that's little, right. A little teepee. That's right. <laughs> 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 fucking put it in Joe List's butt. Hey, <laughs> little nervous Joe. <laughs> you went uh, right for it on that one. <laughs> I think I think we got we all got tents, one person tents. Um, but I think next time I go, I want to get this uh, Amok, A-M-O-K, t- hammock it's it, because being on the ground right and then around 1 15 in the morning a pack of wild coyotes came through the camp oh my god it it was the probably one of the scariest things i would be goddamn terrified dude i the, would laugh you would i laugh at coyotes dude, wow coyotes <laughs> sound like a wolf for like a second and then they turn into something else what is the other thing it sounds like a wolf being attacked by a, something bigger oh my god they just they they go ow i do it Oh, yeah. They do that shit. Yeah. But they were only like uh, maybe 50 yards away from us. Did so, you guys scream, shut the fuck up? <laughs> dude, let me tell you. Quiet. Joe, Joe List is an anxious guy anyways. <laughs> he was actually nervous about a scratch he got, about get, it getting infected. So he had to open up the first aid kit to put Neosporin on his gut. Because he was like, do you think I'm going to get infected? 45 minutes. Is this all right? Does this look good? It's smart it's, for him. He's it's like right. not even bleeding. And then yeah. a pack of wild coyotes came in. They probably smelled his cut. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was the little rice peel off I made. 
Um, did you make a rice peel off? I did. I made a nice hot rice peel off with what some steaks. You didn't you wish? Didn't off? you wish you had a gun at that moment though? When there's all those animals, like just in case. I had a, I had a very big knife, and I had I had bear spray that I bought. Bear spray my, would help. That would help. Well, coyotes, but that, coyotes, that sprays far too. It's like it's almost like bug spray, bear yeah. spray, where you I can you could hit me from where you are like with a jet of yeah. bear spray. That's fucking brutal. Yeah. I, I was scared because I I knew about bears. I studied the black bears. I knew it would be fine if we hang. The, I, they're not going to really fuck with you unless they were cubs or whatever, right? If you stumble across them, they have timber rattlesnakes up there. A lot of them. What? There's rattlesnakes in New York? Uh, timber rattlesnakes. Yeah, up up where we were hiking. Yeah, there's Why hundreds don't you of hike them. Where there's rattlesnakes. I don't know. We wanted to go hiking. We just have to. We you know don't step on them. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. They have a rattle. I mean, to let you know. I don't know why you would hike where there's rattlesnakes and bears and coyotes. Well, I didn't know about the coyotes. I didn't hear shit because I did a lot of research on this hike. Right. And I didn't hear. Nobody mentioned fucking coyotes. How bummed out would you guys be if you're sitting there at your campsite, right? Yeah. You're getting ready to turn in for the night. Yeah. And some little uh, bear cubs just walk on to, walk into your area. I would fucking shit my pants. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would run from my tent, get that bear spray, and watch... Ari or Joe being eaten, I would slowly back away. <laughs> you would. I don't know. You got to make those decisions before you go. Like, wh what if this happens? You yeah. Kinda, even when, like, remember when you, you, you went to Iraq? Didn't you make decisions in your head, like, all right, if this happens, I'm going to fucking, I'm just going to die? No, I, I don't remember, to be honest, but I just, I know I wasn't prepared. I had no contingency. Me and Colin were like, all right, we break a CD in half, we'll fucking stab somebody in the neck. You know, we'll we'll fucking you know try to hide in the sand. You get know? all kinds of plans. <laughs> we we would try to make up plans like if something happens, if we get captured, just let it fuck them. We'll just annoy them until they either laugh or cut our heads off. So what was the plan if a black bear came with her cubs? If a black bear came with her cubs, uh, I would go pet night, them. I'd at, pick the cub up. Right, you know and say, get, get out of here, or you, I'm gonna throw it. You might not want to smart. Do that. You might not want to do well, that. Well, because no, because the mama bear is not going to want to want Jim to hurt her cubs, or she'll go, "Okay, all right, back okay. up." She's going to slowly back up, right? Okay, <laughs> grab, don't hurt the cub. Take the other cub and just say, "No, no, no." The other cub will be mad, be like, "Fuck that, mom!" And he'll be like, "No, no, no, no. no, no let's no. Yeah. let this little thing uh, take your brother. We'll get your brother back." <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that's no, right. Smart. That did not happen. Thank God. But How amazing was up. that deer footage, by the way? Did we we talked about that on the air, didn't we? Well, I don't think. What deer footage? Uh, the footage of the fucking the hippo chasing the baby deer. I don't think we talked about it on the air. Did you see it? I don't think so. That's why I don't think. Oh, we I'm sorry. About I didn't it. mean. It just reminded me of a mother and her fucking. Uh, We're talking about nature. It works. Yeah, yeah it it, works. It, the footage of look for a hippo chasing baby deer. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking creepy though. Coyotes were fucking terrible. Is it angry hippo crushes antelope? No, <laughs> antelope. Right there, baby deer <laughs> saved by. Uh, wait, is that the same thing as? Is that like the no, fruit? No, that's not it. <laughs> like a cantaloupe? Oh, is it a cantaloupe yeah. or an antelope? No, I mean, it's a nice fresh cantaloupe. I love a cantaloupe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice fresh cantaloupe. <laughs> hippos guys... are the most dangerous animal there is. Uh, they yeah. say hippos, hippos kill, kill everybody. everybody. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're fucking the one where the mother gets in front of the fucking. Uh... I um. So so so, it, what was your plan if the bear attack happened? Well, the bear attack thing, if it happened, I had the bear spray. And you I had the knife. Your, you would let your friends die. But I well, you have to kind of make that decision. Correct. Like, you know, I got a kid. Right. You know what I mean? But um, the coyote thing when it happened. It was, de you know, they just went to sleep and it was so relaxing. It was so, we had a fire going, we were smoking Cubans. It was crazy cool. And then you hear the zipper. I was already in bed. You hear the zippers go up and people rustling in the tent. And we're like, it's dead. You just hear these frogs going off. It's, you're in your four hour walk from anywhere. Oh my God. So there's no way, if something happens, Someone has to walk out four hours and four hours back. Or right. Maybe six hours if you ran. You, know, you could probably do it. But well, they have to walk out four hours, but maybe they'll bring a car back or you can't get a car over the... You can get a car up one of the roads, but maybe a range or something. You're looking at hours, You're looking yeah. at a long time. So then we all went sleeping around 115. We're just lying there and just so quiet and so awesome. And then these coyotes. Dude, pull up. Can you pull up coyote sound? Pack a coyote. It's the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. I'd like to hear what it sounds like. I, it was so, and they went off for like a minute and a half. And then there was dead silence between the three of us. And everybody was still up. Oh, okay. I, okay, but, here's here's coyote sounds. It just sounds like a dog barking. No, he's That's not that scary. 
Ah! No, that's, that's, there it is. And that's how you know there's a pack of them, too? Yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's wow, I go out and pet them. They're probably nice. Well, you're good with animals. Yeah, they sound like dogs. Yeah. 50, 50 yards away from the Give them a piece tent. of cheese. Get a squeaky toy for yeah, them? Yeah, give them a piece of cheese. There's, no, there's <laughs> nobody around. Cheese. There's nobody around. And then you just hear Joe List went, uh, uh, Bob, what do we do about that? And I went, I don't know. And he went, What? He was like angry with me. He's like, p- what? He's pissed. <laughs> He's mad at me. Yeah. Because I, I did all the reading. Like, I knew what to do about bears. And I right. was teaching him all this shit about the bear and blah, blah. And he's like, what? <laughs> did you carry the bear spray when you went and took a shit? I had the bear sp- I literally opened my tent. As soon as I heard that, I grabbed my big knife. Would you have I- been happy if he took the bear spray with him when he took a shit? And then while he was shitting, he accidentally dropped the bear spray and then it was covered in shit? No, what I would be happy is if he dropped it and it fired into his asshole. <laughs> 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 so you, you you grab the bear spray and then. But knife. I gave I gave I had I had a really big knife. Right. I had my bushcraft knife. Oh, I forgot you had one custom made. I had I had yeah two. Good. Good. So I had my bushcraft knife. I gave Ari uh, a knife, a pretty nice knife from Finland. Oh, okay. And then I gave Joe this fucked up little buck knife. <laughs> so. <laughs> so and it was kind of dull, right? And I know, and he didn't, and it had a trick to open it. You had to push this thing, and he mm-hmm. he couldn't. He had to have me open his knife so the whole time. Joe's <laughs> Joe's thing was more like, Joe, why don't you just let us take care of it? Yeah, yeah. I, I was, see. I see. It was like you can you, you know cut your meat with that or right. something. Right. I didn't want him to get hurt. You can whittle with yours. Oh, dude, it was terrifying. We were sitting there for a half hour. Waiting for just to hear somebody being fucking chewed on. Now, did you hear them for the entire half hour? Or did you hear them once and they went away? They, they came in. They called each other. It, it was fucking terrifying. Yeah, because in my mind, if they're calling each other and yeah. assembling, yeah. I'd be like, one of those coyotes is telling the other coyotes, there's a bunch of fucking nudniks that decided to walk across a mountain and sleep outside. Let's eat them. Yeah. And I didn't know anything about coyotes. No, I know. So, Joe, and Joe was pissed. So, he went like this. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> he was fucking very angry. Is he outdoorsy? Joe is a good hiker. We've never done this. And this isn't a campsite. It's like a, they call it primitive campsites. So you kind of go up the trail and then in these little areas you can uh, spend the night or a couple nights up in the mountains. They have them in the Catskills. They have them everywhere. But, um, you know, there's no running water. Like we had to fill up our water bags in the river oh and then God. filter it. No, there's these. Fil- How do you filter? It? Uh, it's it's uh, a Sawyer filter. You attach it to uh, your uh, bladder, or your ho- your your uh, bag, or you put it on a bottle and you drink right out of the bottle. Are you uh, worried that you have a tapeworm? Yeah, no, you fuck can't. That. You can't. You can't. We don't have. We don't have that shit here, really. Oh, it's it's uh, it just filters out all the shit. You can that the water you're drinking is from the same shit. They just filter it. So yeah, they just, but they have professional plants that filter it, not you something went, you tie to your fucking water bottle, no, like, I, a, like a fern. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Poland Spring <laughs> <laughs> professional plants. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The, the lilacs are working. Home run chip. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> nice. That was good. Nice. Uh, nice. So <laughs> you have to just sit there and wait. Like, how do you know that they're really gone, gone? Dude, you, <laughs> we none of us slept. None. As soon as the sun came up, you just heard zippers. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> well, it wasn't. We're going to do it again in a couple weeks. Why? Because we just get, because I, I, I don't know. Just, but I, like I said, we had the tents, which I feel... Like we're gonna try, I'm gonna switch over to a hammock because I I feel like you can get out of a hammock quicker and you're up off the ground so well, there's no snakes there's no that's smart the snake thing is smart but how high up off the ground would the hammock be it'd be like I don't know a couple feet three feet three feet maybe two, two feet, feet something like that but you're but couldn't off, an animal still come and just bite you in your sleep he could come and bite me but I could get the fuck out I could roll out of it and fucking what stab about bugs? somebody bugs no, will get no, you in a hammock no 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 this hammock one that I'm get, I want to get yeah it's it's uh. You can actually; it has a sleeping pad in it, okay. so you can. I'm a side sleeper, so you can I lie see. on your sl- you can lie on your side. But it also has a, a built-in bug net, so you just get in it and zip the shit around, and it has a tarp that goes over it. So if it rains, you don't get wet. That's fun. It's pretty cool, I'm- and, it, and it's sleeping in a hammock. Is one of the most comfortable ways you can sleep because you. Sl- I like beds. I, I mean. Camping wise, I was gonna I say see. camping at the end of that, I but see. like in a tent, I was sleeping on the floor, and I got uh, I got this fucking big uh, blow up pad you sleep on, 
And in the middle of the night, the thing popped. So I was just sleeping on the ground. And that sucked because it was cold. I would <laughs> that, hate well, this experience. I, after the coyote thing, my sleeping pad popped, right? And I was like, fuck. So I had to keep blowing it up because it had a little leak. Uh -huh. So I had to keep blowing it up. And I'm rustling in my tent. And I scared the shit out of both of them because they thought I was being attacked. <laughs> but I was just pissed off because my fucking my my knees and hip bone were cold. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Uh, I I would be I would have such severe anxiety, especially at sleep time. Come with on us on this trip. There is no way. Come on, we'll get you I would some... hate that. I would, I would hate... Hate the, 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 the Apex Camping Shelter in Hammock. It looks kind of Ape, no Amok. Oh, uh, this one. This one's called Apex. A M O K. What about That's this amok. one? Yeah, Amok. Amok. Th this one though. It looks uncomfortable to collapse no, that, into no, a, no, no. Go to the a um, fucking A M O K is you. It's like a bed in the air. A M O K is the. Uh, I would. I mean, I, I is would. Is a fuck. It's a, it's a, from Norway too. Uh, the company, and they're fucking. It's it's unbelievable. It you looks can, uncomfortable. You can actually no. This one you can actually sit up in like a chair. You pull the straps oh. and it sits you up like a chair, and then you let them go and you lie back. But you can actually. It just feels like it looks like it has just, a sleeping pad in it, so you're sleeping on an air mat mattress in the air. It looks like you're waiting to be attacked. It literally looks like no. a guy. It, it's like a fucking little a single person spacecraft. Yeah, yeah. They're, but they're but f as far as comfortable wise, sleeping on the ground, you have to. Make sure you clear the ground. Make sure it's level. You have to put a thing underneath if it rains. Blah blah blah. Something like this. Like any all the things I've researched is that the things that suck about hammocks is that you're kind of cocooned in like this. Sure. But this one, you're has just waiting there for a bear to attack you, right. and you can't do anything. You're literally a there fucking is, treat no, hanging two feet no. in the air. And, well, you're a the treat. Best, the best I'd part, rather be a treat that I can get the fuck out of it. No, the you best can't part get out of for that. the bear because of that. You're right because of that bug net thing. Yeah. Is you're literally already stuck in a net. Yeah. If that bear comes and attacks you, you you're like stuck. A, you're in not a net. like a fucking a, a cod stuck in a. That's right. A fishing 100%. net. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yes. Oh, you got to tie them around a tree. Who the fuck? So easy. You wrap it around the tree, dude. It looks. Terrible. Uh, it's great. I would be terrible. I would be terrible. You have to piss. That's the thing. You can just zip. You, you on this one. You just roll out of it. On a tent, you have to like a one person tent. You have to unzip it. There's no way you, you, you just kind of get of your shoes. No. You have to get your stuff on. You got to kind of crawl out. You know, it depends on the tent, but oh, most Bobby. one person tents you are on the ground. Stupid fucking blabbermouth cunt! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's harsh. <laughs> so, I thought I was hanging out with my second stepfather. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> backyard tents are hard enough to get in and out of. This is impossible. Well, back, I have a big blow-up tent of four person. I mean, hammocks, walk in. backyard hammocks are hard enough to get in and out of. Yes. What are you talking about? This one's impossible. No. Everybody gets all wrapped up in them. No, you yeah. just this one you just sit in. Dude, if I went with you, I'd be terrified and I'd be trying to come up with reasons to keep you guys up all night so I didn't have to sleep by myself. Why don't you, you come with me? I'll get a two person tent. I don't want to sleep in with me. No, because then it gets Sammy, even weirder. No, it's not gonna get weird. It's gonna get warmer. Not weirder. <laughs> Wrong sure, W. I'm sure it'll get warmer, <laughs> but I feel like just come old, on. Hey, old no, memories I... will start to come up with Do you, you and <laughs> it'll get it'll get Come on, you wear that little uh you wear that little number you used to wear. I don't want to do that anymore. Come Why on. not? Why not? You come with me. I get a two-person tent. Me yeah. and you. We'll get in there. I get a nice little pad. We will get a nice little double uh, sleeping here's how pad. Always start. Remember, remember when you were an intern yeah. and you would, remember the stuff you would do. What would you do? What kind of stuff? First round things gonna happen. I'm gonna reach around, put my little my my in, my middle finger in your belly button just oh to my make gosh. just to make sure you're warm. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a cool way to hold them there from the yeah, back too. Yeah, yeah. so he tries to scamper away. You dig into the belly button. It's like all right, all right. All right that's the way. If I got another scooter, I'd have Sam ride from the back. With both fingers in my <laughs> belly button. Get the other one in there. There's room. Uh, there's a lot of room. You just hear a gulp. One <laughs> finger in my belly button and just me. No, you just hear my, my, my hernia pop back in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jeff's face. <laughs> yeah, at no point. <laughs> at no point in my life am I ever going to be outdoor camping. I, I it's think not gonna happen. I, look at I. I'm I, not even gonna glamp to tell you the I truth. I used to be into it. I used to be into it, and I got out of it. Living in the city, but now I'm getting back into it. But you would, you would like it. No, I wouldn't. Well, you like fishing. Whatever happened to that boat you got? I got. It. I'm going up and using it. I use oh, it every year. Use it. Okay. I use it every year at my. It's at my uncle Jimmy's. He lives on uh, on Golden Pond, that actual lake. He has a, a huge house up there, and I have my boat up there, and we go pond fishing all the time. I like staying in my basement. I like playing PUBG. I like watching my shows, my programs. You know, there's nothing. I take Max hiking all the time. We go out in the fucking woods, hike around. Uh, Dawn's going with me. We're going camping. Uh, I'm taking the kid and the wife to an actual campsite 
you know, family campsite. It's called car camping. You pull up, you set up a tent, and there's Honestly, all kinds of What shit do you do, do if you take a kid camping? If it's yeah. just you and, and your son or you and your daughter? Yeah. And then the adult has a heart attack and dies. The kid fucking lives in the woods, becomes Tarzan, okay. makes friends with the animals. Something like Gandolfini, it happened to him in the, in the hotel. He was out with his kid. Yeah. He becomes Mowgli. And the kid was like 12. Yeah. Well, you have I mean, to make sure, you before you go hiking, I mean, last year, I mean, not like six months ago, every test in the world done on my heart. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. As soon as Colin had a heart attack, I fucking got everything done. Did you get a, all checked out at all? No. Are you good? I have over the years. Well, she, I mean, even though you're in shape, you should get plaque and shit like that. Yeah. You know, you should get, you know, you, you might, you might have a nice hot widow maker. Not that it'd be a widow, it'd be yeah. a fucking bachelor maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go get checked. I, I uh, my heart feels good. A nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> pew, pew. Back to being a bachelor. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there, there's nothing well, the, the, about this that would appeal to me. Yeah, I, I, and I'd be sitting there and I'd go, I'm camping in the woods right now. Yeah. If I knew that I had a night off, like where I'm not working <laughs> yeah. and not with the wife and kid, I yeah. would have just gone to the movie theater. That's where I would want to be, in a movie theater. I like going to the movies. I'm telling you, there's something about being out in the fucking woods that uh, no phones, no service. I don't mind Just that. conversation. I like that. We Ugh. had a set up camp. We had a light of fire. We had to keep it going. Bro, just come over. Come over to my house. We'll go we'll <laughs> hang out on the deck. We'll leave the phones in the living room. Same oh. shit. Same shit. Phones I mean, in the living room. Same thing. Except not... you shit in a toilet. Exactly. You can go inside and use the toilet. I mean, when look, you have the, to. the one, I mean, shitting outside uh, was, no pun intended, shitty. <laughs> Actually, by the what, way, complete it, pun intended. Total intention. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but it was, uh, <laughs> and then when it's time to go to bed, we're yeah. all sitting out on the on the deck. We can smoke little Cuban cigars. Yeah. We can put a little bonfire going or something. Okay. And then when everybody goes yeah. like, "All right, you guys ready to pack it in?" It's like, "Yeah, go back to your houses and sleep in your beds, like people." Oh. I don't know it was fun. So, I mean, Ari does it all the time. He he's actually hikes and does it. Joe hikes a lot too. But by we, himself, he goes. Uh, they hike a lot, yeah. Because you, there's an app you have. I have on my phone that you can just wherever you are. Type in uh, it shows you the trails around me and Ari last year for uh, just for laughs me Ari and Big J I remember we rented a cabin in the woods and we went hiking um, out there from the back we were supposed to go camping but it was raining it was all fucked up so but we planned this a year ago and it was cool we're gonna do it again you we're are? gonna do it there's a a waterfall one we're gonna go up in the Catskills are you gonna try to do it like Bushkill Party Boys Bushcraft Party Boys it's, right. uh, it, it that is what it always will be and we're gonna add somebody else to the but we're gonna add mean, a fourth are you going to camp in a cabin again or are you no, gonna go to Montreal and be Bush League party boys no I think this year I think the next time we go camping I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna switch over to one of these this this hammock thing because the tent thing on the ground I you know like you have to I don't know they worry about like a fucking snake coming a up fucking and sleep hammock in a, what happens if you get find there? a couple of redwoods <laughs> 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 you have to park in a parking lot and use the. F All right, nice. Why? Yeah, no, I, 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 was, I, I thought right. I had it, but I didn't. Halfway through, I was like, I don't got it. <laughs> Do you ever go? You're in the woods and you're lost, and you're like, Don't worry, I know the way home. And then you walk for four hours, and then you realize you walked in a circle. That's how Tarantino's uh, <laughs> one of his editors died. Like that, that woman uh, is that right? I, Susanna, yeah. whatever. Her name, she was like, Yeah, one of his because uh, his editors are amazing. I yeah. see it in my movies. I think she was his main <laughs> editor. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens in my no, movies. Uh, there was I just saw the Sally Mankey, yeah. A lot of people die like that. Like they'll just hike and then get lost. Yeah. She went hiking with her dog in the severe heat and she was fifty <sighs> so I guess she just couldn't whatever. Maybe yeah. she had a heart attack. Yeah, guess what? AC in the house. It's perfect. Yeah, I don't I don't do that type of shit. I'm not fucking I'm fucking hiking the Appalachian Trail. I'm not doing any of that. I'm I'm I have a map it uh, on my phone. It it actually records where I am. My wife can check it. You ever hiked the Oregon Trail? Uh, no, I did not. I use a wagon. <laughs> Caulk that shit every time. <laughs> Caulk the wagon. Caulk it. Let's roll the dice, baby. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, I, I don't do that crazy shit. I like hiking up a little bit, a couple miles, couple maybe mile. three miles. Four hours, you like? Maybe four. We did four miles this one or something like that. Is four hours the most you ever did away from this civilization? Was the, this was the... This staying over. I've done big hikes up but, in New Hampshire, but this is but the stupidest I've always, overnight. I've one always you've come ever back. Done. Yeah, I've yeah. never hiked out and stayed. That was you. You can't think about it. And then all of a sudden, that when the coyotes, as soon as the coyotes, I was like, oh, we're 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 we have no help. Right. Like I can't just call. Again. My phone doesn't work. 
Dude, we got a raccoon that keeps knocking over our garbage can. You will get the same wildlife in my backyard. <laughs> I promise you that. It'll be the same experience. Well, raccoons make a weird noise, too. Right. There was one screaming in the middle of the night, and I was like, what is that? They were right. screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will let me know if those raccoons stop screaming. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original title of Silence for the Raccoons. It just didn't <laughs> sell. Like it, doesn't, it doesn't work. They were slaughtering the spring raccoons. I used to collect raccoons. <laughs> They were like, why would anybody care if all the raccoons were getting yeah. slaughtered? It's fine. Do you used to take the tails off to make a raccoon hat, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lecter? What became of your raccoon? He bit me. <laughs> yeah. he, he, he bit me in aggression. And they had to put him down. Raccoons are a menace. Nobody they're cares terrible. if they're slaughtered. Yeah. Oh, the worst. The yeah. worst. I hate raccoons. They just shot one across the street. The cops came and put a nice hot 22 in his fucking head. Did they? Yeah, I think it was uh, a fucking rabbit. Um, well, I was out in the daylight. daylight yeah. You got to shoot them if they're out in the daylight. Why? <laughs> I yep. say that about certain people too. They're rabid. <laughs> yeah, if raccoons are running around in the daylight or they're getting close to people, they're rabid. Yeah. They, they shot a coyote in my neighborhood too. Coyote. Coyote. They are coyotes. God, Junior, put your coyote on. Yeah. Um, yeah, they shot uh they shot one of those in my neighborhood too. Wow. Not a guarantee indicator of rabies. You see, raccoons are primarily nocturnal. They often do get some stuff done during the day. <laughs> so basically they murdered <laughs> a raccoon. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Raccoon's like, I'm trying to go about my business. Yeah, he was walking from point A to point B. He must I, be batshit crazy. I have a lot to do today, and I happen to not be nocturnal at the moment. Well, I found out that coyotes won't fuck. With, they, they'll, they'll take a child right. or dogs or cats. Right. They're not going to fuck with us. Like pretty much. Small dogs. Yeah. Oh, this video, this fucked up video This uh, of uh, this guy's dog was in the backyard, and this coyote hopped the fence. Grabbed the dog, jumped over the fence, stood on the top with the dog around, just in its mouth, looked at the guy, and then just, bye. Dog gone. Oh, that's so fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> Nicole Biggins from the Morning Mashup, her first dog died via coyote or, or some kind of uh, bird or something like that. Yeah. They let the coyote go. I mean, they let the dog go, like, run around in the woods or whatever. Yeah. And that was the end of that little poodle. Oh, yeah. A little toy, oh, whatever it was. Pomeranian or oh, whatever the, it was. Oh, what a nice snack that is. Oh, yeah. I yeah. got a big labradoodle, so I don't think my dog's gonna get fucked with. Yeah, my bigger dogs they have a hard time. Like they, I found out after I did research, and it was like we were pretty all right. They were not, they were not gonna fuck with us. Yeah, yeah, but there's a lot of them. I'd be, I'd be terrified. There was probably around four. I'd be terrified. Five. Yeah, I was, I was shitting my pants. Right, and you. And I was all, more scared because and Joe, you had, a, you had a shit pit right next to you, so you did not need to do that. <laughs> but that's how scared you were. I like the shit pit. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm looking at these uh, videos while Troy is playing, where coyotes are attacking family pets, and yeah. one woman saved her dog. She ran out. Yeah, that's dope. He was tearing the dog up. Yeah, and the, the dog. I look guess, at that. Look at that fucking thing. There's big dumb ears. Yeah. Fuck a coyote. How much does a coyote weigh though? That's like a small. Pounds? That's actually a small one. How much does those little rascals weigh? How much does a coyote weigh? Coyotes weigh sixty oh, or seventy pounds. Okay. Look at the, yeah, some of them. Some of them are bigger than. So others. they're not. They're not going to. They're not going to. One coyote is not going to take a Saint Bernard down. No. No. But not a bunch of them could. Five fifteen to forty five. Yeah, F a only forty five pounds. pounds. I guess my dog weighs like sixty. Did you see that video last week of the two lynxes yelling at each other? Oh, let me see the lynxes yelling oh at each God. other. I want to see the lynxes yelling. I'd love at each to other. see that. Yeah, it's like a Family Feud episode, but with lynxes. <laughs> what are they? Uh, <laughs> what are they? Routers? <laughs> Which one of us has a name like <laughs> on the Mod Squad? <laughs> lynxes. Look at these lynxes. Oh. Oh, look at Like every relationship I've ever been in. This is a Jim Norton and Sam Roberts show prep <laughs> meeting. <laughs> this is so That's amazing. It'd be great if you just he heard two gunshots. <laughs> a nice fucking coat made. <laughs> nice feet, dick. <laughs> oh my god, look how long their feet are. <laughs> they really do. Oh! oh they god. touch. <laughs> the girl filming it freaked out a little bit. She's there in a car though, right? Yeah. So they, they touched heads for a moment. And then swatted. They keep bowing their heads next to each other, and then they don't touch. But the minute that they touch, they freak out. Would they let you pet them right that now? looks like every fight in the, the West Village on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> They're starting to chill out, I think. Like, what are we fighting about, really? Yeah, come on, guys. It's just, it's just a piece of pussy. <laughs> 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 it's nature. We'll share it. <laughs> you think that's what it is? I love that. Wow. That's insane. Man. It's amazing. That's pretty cool. 
That, but that's it. I don't know. Like I understand videotaping it if you're from a car, but these people that videotape the one guy that got killed trying to get a selfie with a black bear. Yeah. Love that. Oh, I oh. love that he got fucking mauled. I love when people are like take these dumb risks and then they don't pay off. There is no upside to this. I, if I see an, a black bear, I am slowly backing the fuck away from it. We were driving to the. Uh, uh, those outlets we were talking about, Woodbury Commons ones. Love Woodbury Commons. Oh, right. it stinks. And you, you don't, don't like them? I hate Woodbury awful. fucking Commons. Well, it's well, the, what do you do? Go by yourself? It's one of the shittiest places on wow, earth. Wow, this bear is ripping this guy up. Yeah, that's, oh my God. Yeah, it's a this, black bear, dummy. But he, we were driving. He died. We were driving on the way, right? And you could see, like, there's like, it, it's, it's a mountainous terrain as you're driving towards Woodbury Commons. And we looked at the window and there was a little baby bear. Just in plain eyesight of everybody by itself, walking on like the walking and bike path that's yeah. right there in the woods. And all I could think about was just how fucked you would be if you came across that thing as you were walking. Ew. Yeah. No, not like, oh. no, I meant like metaphorically, yeah. <laughs> no, but the mother's probably not far behind. Unless the bear's going to Woodbury Commons. Could be looking for discounts. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's a sale. Yeah. Might be, yeah, looking <laughs> this, for little bear pants. This fucking idiot was trying to get his camera back, too. Good. What a dummy. Good. Which, which guy? The guy with the stupid, he's trying to pull his camera away from the bear. I'm Look, glad see? he's no longer with us. Like that maybe, bear, no, maybe the bear had his sleeve or something. Maybe it was wrapped no, up. No, he, he had it. it oh, look it's at that. It's so funny how nobody's <sighs> helping him. No, like, like There's a lot of people there. There's a dog. Cat, that stupid cat or oh, dog or whatever dog. it is is helping him. Nobody is helping him, and the bear doesn't give a fuck that all these people are watching. Someone's just filming it. Of course the bear doesn't care. This is what bears do. Yeah, fuck that. No way. Fuck that. No. It did Any, kill him too, right? Like that Bear Man documentary. <gasps> yeah, right there. I'm He's not upset dead. that the guy that. who did the Bear Man documentary ended up getting eaten by a bear. Well, neither is good. he. That's what he wanted. Look at the dog just hanging out. Don't just hang out with a, bears. A big fucking uh, shit pit. A bear shit pit. Right. Exactly. That's your life. That's your life's work. You're now in a bear shit pit. What about the guy who got attacked by a grizzly twice and then made it out, walked four miles with just his head sliced open, his arm broken, mm -hmm. and made it to the hospital. He survived? Survived. Yeah, I think uh, I've seen the like, the giant gashes in his head, right? And he's he's literally going, dude, he's like videotaping and going, I just got fucked up by a, a grizzly. Twice. He's the man then, if he survived. <laughs> yeah. It's like people who survive. Oh, yeah, I've That's seen him. this guy. Yeah. Life sucks in bear country. Just had a oh, grizzly with his That's his head hanging off. Come at me from about 80 yards. Put his hat back on, though. And, uh. I sprayed the shit out of her with bear spray, Nothing. and then I went to, on my face and protected the back of my neck. She got my head good. I don't know what's under my hat. Oh. My ear, my arm. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, oh, my oh, goodness. This is the stuff hanging oh. out. Don't yeah, you got, don't get in a fight with a bear, dude. And then my shoulder. This is you, Bob. Up, yeah, my arms broke. Oh, this is brown bears. It's a brown bear. Have fun camping, Bob. This That's is a brown your bear. Morgan's this is your life now. Dude, I have bear bells. Do you know what makes... Human That's bear bells. Bell. Yeah, I have a bear bell on my bag. Ding a ling a ling a ling. Do you know, do you know what makes human beings at the top of the food chain? The beer hit. The, that scares yeah, the bears. cities. Yeah, exactly. And cars. We learned how to make guns, shelter, and transportation, and tools. I have a shelter. I'm gonna get a nice fucking hammock tent. Lay like a fucking brujol right in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Nice Italian fat meat hanging That's off right. of that bear. That's right. Do you understand? You're the stuff that bear, bear, bear legends are made of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, fucking gabagool hanging yeah, right. out of the fucking. Oh dude. my god! And how much did he weigh? Four twenty. Yeah. I walked up. There was a a prosciutto hanging out of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> bears would actually. You'd actually see bears pulling their cell phones out, filming you. Like I can't believe our good luck. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be tweeting. We just found an Italian deli. Guys, come here. Be, Let's kill this. Joe yeah. List and Ari Shafir would have so much time to get away. Oh, my God. They could actually fold their tents up. <laughs> <laughs>